What is up, guys? It's Aiden back again, and and showing you another video. So we have great new ones. So two new things from from eBay this weekend, and and other good and brand new DVDs I got from Goodwill this weekend, and and technically four things that arrived to today in the mail. So next. Makes it 12 new editions for the collection. So I'm extremely excited to show these things. So I want to talk about the ones I found at Goodwill first. And the other few things we'll, we'll be well explaining in a minute. So let's get on the video and not waste any more time. Unless the video is going to be some enjoyable for you guys. So anyways. So 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 we have a pretty good discount off of this one. Since uh, yesterday was Sunday and I went to Goodwill. And... Um, Color of the week was green and yellow. So this one was green, so I got a great discount off of it. And we're speaking of today's winner, Wally. So there's the green on the back, which and the front, obviously. So dollar ninety nine. So the lady got me a good discount. So, so yeah. Anyways, and then be careful with this one, cause there's the disc. <coughs> oh, bless me. So, so I'm gonna keep keep it safe in here. So I, when I opened it up, the disc almost fell on the ground. Luckily, I caught it before it fell. So yeah, Wally. -E. Next is a pretty good movie. Uh, having, I hope I can get get the sequel eventually, or maybe my brother has it. Maybe he can give it to me eventually. And and I'm talking about Rio. And and, and this and the other DVDs I'm about to show you don't have the matching color of the week yesterday. So, anyways, here's the front the side and the back and it has the blue goodwill sticker and here's the disc and the other dvd that we're going to be showing is another great hit one i thought i collected all of the these movies but i guess i forgot uh, the spin-off of the of, of of these four wacky uh, penguins for, for, from after, after the third movie had had been released it and, and and if you know what I'm talking about, the Penguins of Madagascar, the movie. So, for some reason enough, it used to be on Netflix every time, but it keeps going off. And this one, I think it's off permanently off of Netflix. So yeah, and I completely forgot to get the you know, more of the Penguins of Madagascar stuff from my Madagascar collection. Anyways, here's the front, the side, and the back. And here's the disc. I'm I cannot wait to display it with. With, all, with half of the Madagascar stuff I have by far. And I do want to get more of the, the Madagascar series from based off of the Penguins. I think they did like a Nickelodeon show, I think. Yeah, which I probably have somewhere. Um, by the, the TV show shelf where I have like all the shows that, that I watch. And I was getting to Hannah Montana, Barney, Phineas and Ferb, Thomas, The Wiggles, et, you name it. So we'll, let's get, but we'll probably deal with that in the future, I guess. So this next one is another movie that I that I like, and uh, it and it inspired me to do my cooking series back on my old channel. So rest in peace on that. But the movie that we're talking is about is a, it's a chef's kiss. It is Ratatouille. I, I'm, I've been looking for this movie for years. Besides Wally, -E, and it's a pretty good one actually. Anyways. Here's the front, the side, and the back, and and here's this crazy thing is when, when this pop out, I found like flushed away the disc in, in this one. Well, luckily I found the right movie in it, so we're all good. And next one is a is a movie that I and a television show which I never had in my collection besides having the merchandise of of some of the little little kung fu dudes in, in their ninja outfits, and I'm talking about. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Volume Two. I guess this is like uh, from the original series. So, anyways, here's the front, the side, and the back. And here's the disc. So I can't believe I finally got my first Ninja Turtles DVD. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Actually, pretty good, huh? And this next one is another great one from Ardman. I. The only Armin discs I have were 
was Chicken Run on VHS, Flushed Away on DVD. And I don't think I recommend I have any more Ardman uh, DVDs. Uh, I can't remember, actually. And, 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 and let's talk about Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. Be honest, I I haven't seen this movie in a in a really long time, so I figured we might as well get this thing for the collection. So, anyways, here's the front, the side, and the back, and here's one of those little strap things, which I'm which I kind of hate actually, like like these little snap things, like like little doors. Anyways, open the disc, and I think this is the movie. I think it doesn't have any showing, but we'll have to find out sooner or later if. If it's a, if it's a not the movie, then I'm gonna have to give you another update video, which, which I'm probably gonna be really pissed off. And sorry for my language. So, so those are great DVDs, but let's get talk about the other stuff. Okay, so these next three things are, are straight off of, off of eBay, which I got an eBay gift card from Easter, and and I'm expecting one more coming soon, but which you're all gonna have to wait and see. So, anyways, these two DVDs have arrived, and this one I'm about to show you in a minute had arrived along with these other three things, which are custom. And but I'm going to tell you in a minute which store I got them off. So, um, I'm going to show you uh, this one. So, obviously, this DVD is probably going to be the best one because, to be honest, uh, I haven't got got this movie for my collection. I keep seeing this preview on every single hit entertainment DVD that I have. And we honest, I, I I can't believe I finally got it, but I hope I can get the VHS of it actually, because it was in the past. It was from two thousand five, and so anyways, we're talking about Thomas and Friends songs from the station for the sixtieth years of anniversary. Pretty cool, huh? Anyways, here's the front, the side, and the back, and and here's the DVD. So pretty cool, cool, huh? I I can tell I, I thought it was pretty cool. So I do want to get the, the last few things for this for the 60 years celebration collection. I do want to upgrade Calling All Engines to the 60th one, which I'll probably be giving it getting the one I got from Lion Gates away to the flea market whenever we get back selling things, which I'm still keep telling you every single video. But and the best part is when I when I get back to selling stuff with my dad at the flea market, I'm gonna give you guys a virtual behind the scenes of. A, a, a virtual flea market tour which I'm probably gonna be showing you it and it's gonna be pretty cool anyways um and, and I think it was Thomas of Sodor celebration which is also the 60 years of, of, of this DVD yeah and um, yeah so I think we're done talking about Thomas so next one is another great one I've been looking for more of these merchandises for years after when I got raced through space Hate that rhymes. And I'm talking about Little Einstein's Mission Celebration. I, I used to, my teacher has this disc in, in, in elementary school when I was a kid. I, I recommend watching it. And uh, and I finally get to see it for myself. Anyways, here's the front, the side, and the back. And one of these little door things, which I hate. And here's the disc. It has a little scratches, but I think it could, could work. I have 50% hope. And now, the last of the big potatoes of this from, from eBay. Which I'm probably going to have to build, build it up for display. So, so this is another thing from Andy's room, which I'm looking for. And fortunately, it's not going to be the Tinker Toys or the Lincoln Logs or, or the little airplane that Andy has or the Rainbow Train. Or any of the, the relevant side characters. But this is going to be a fun one. And I could tell all of you Toy Story fans are going to be surprised. And I'm speaking of the Super Stunt Set. The Orange Hot Wheels Ramp. It, so this is pretty good. I, I can't believe I got a good deal off of this. Like, it was currently $59. And, and the person offered me a good deal for 40 bucks, Which was kind of a good deal actually. So, even though the box is a little damaged, you can tell by the the O and the Y in the logo of Toy Story. But it survived through shipping, 
And in the back, you can see like some Toy Story merchandise. There's like Buzz and RC, and I think that's a little RC to toy and a disc, I think. So later on in a minute, I'm gonna build it up for display after we see all these pieces. So, well, let, you know, let's check out the pieces right now, actually. So I gotta be very careful with this box. I kinda wanna keep it. And I think I know where I'm gonna put the box. I'm gonna place it by the right beside the fireplace with all the other Toy Story boxes I have. So, and a little, little, little cardboard blue thing. And here we are. It has a weird smell to it because it's really old. This was made from 1996. So let's get get get, get showing. So we have one, two red jumps, and and what is this in here? I should probably go get, get my scissors to cut cut you open. These are like two purple c connectors, which uh, which I'm gonna probably connect in eventually. And uh, and here's the race track pieces. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six orange race tracks. And, and I hope we can probably learn how to c connect this and make the loop de loop. I kind of hope. And let's put these on the side. I I kind of had Hot Wheels when I was a kid, and and I think I know how to still do this. I hope we can get like some kind of instructions or something. Oh, I think we got it. So uh, here's like the the purple clamp thing. I don't know where to just connect. Oh, I think you're supposed to like screw it in like like. like So I think we're, uh, we'll be like this. Now, is there any other pieces in here? Any instructions? Where are those instructions? Uh, nope, those are not the instructions. These are like um, the little other connections for the for the for the track. I think it's uh, hard for the loop de loop. Is there anything else in here? Uh, no, I think that's it. But. Where is the little car? Oh. Here, I think this might be the car. And wrap, wrapped up in good bubble wrap. Actually, because I, I would probably be digging this through hours if, back, if I was born from the 90s to get this thing out. And... And uh, here we are. And, and, and looks like covered in a little, little paper cloth. Oh, look at that. Shiny. So, look at that. And I think this is the car that Buzz Lightyear used to push off, which I kind of think this is, this is the, the car. I can't tell. I don't remember what this little helmet, I think. Um, I'm going to have to look. Had some little pictures on Google and probably the box, so oops, fell right out of my hands. So I'm gonna probably get my dad to help me out with this one. So I'm gonna have to ask him to help me build this right away. So let's get building. Okay, so it took me a while and I think I outdone myself. My dad helped me out a little bit and uh, the instructions were not quite helpful. I demonstrate it and so after looking at the details of the car and the and the box, so I checked it out. Oh, it's upside down. So, 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 according to the this, it is the actual car 
that Buzz Lightyear rides on in the first movie. So that's nice. Good de good attention for, for the detail there, Mattel. Really, really nice. So let me set up the camera and and show you how, if, it, if it works. I've been testing it out and I wanted to show you guys if it if it works well. Okay, so so the car goes here over the loop and right across these, these ramps. So let, let's get on to test shot. All right, uh, pretty good. Even though it didn't go fully on on the track, let's do it again. And I'll flip over the camera so you can see it better. Oh, great! Now it finally went. So, so it finally went over the ramp. So, I can even tell Buzz look, looks pretty cool on it. So, so yeah, that is the 1996 Mattel's Hot Wheels stunt set. So pretty cool, huh? I'm very proud. So I got the ramp and the and the ball. I got the rock stack <laughs> for some of the real life toys and some ABC blocks at Goodwill. So would it be cool, bestly, if like if I do a live action where if if since we have the Pixar ball right over there and the Hot Wheels racetrack over there. And it would be cool if we have like Andy's little airplane. That's a custom made. So, what I would think about doing is probably um, connect it by this little part of my the top of the roof of my room. And oh, look at that spider web. So I should probably clean that up a little bit. So yeah, so yeah, and I'm thinking about getting a string and connecting it because I'm thinking when I do like some little live action Toy Story videos one day, I could probably get the plane and and make Buzz do his little flying with style stunt. So, yeah, so let's get to the last and final thing, which we're going to talk about some merchandises from Toy Story 2. And I'll be playing with this Hot Wheels track later, actually. I'm going to be having a fun time playing with this. Okay, so these last three things, I'm really proud of getting. Like, I've, I've been looking for some Woody's Roundup merchandise, so frankly, no, I did not get these off a of cop from Instagram. I got these right off of Etsy through Passion Fruit Pixar. And Nick had got a few of these from Passion Fruit Pixar. I think he got like um, a daisy necklace for his big baby. And, and I got a good deal off of this and with these three things. And, and I had a huge smile on my face when they arrived in the mail. And I'm talking about these little records uh, with um, with the Woody's Roundup stuff. Which I check out the, the records. They're not Woody's Roundup touches or anything. They're just regular discs records from real life in the past for... For maybe some of you users uh, have probably talked to your parents about records. Um, I think they have like some of these old records in real life. So let's check them out re real quick in all these ones. So this one's called Roundup Trio, the little brown jug that could. So so we got Jesse, Woody, and the Prospector and for the front, including the back. So in this record, it's not a Woody's Roundup one. It says, um, what the... It keeps on raining by Gwen McCare. So I think it would look cool, actually. Like I don't even care about the records. Like I'm just proud I got my first Woody's Roundup merchandises. So let's put you back here. And uh, this next one is Woody's Western po Polka Party. And here's Woody holding a accordion. And uh, in this one, we it says "In the Rain" by Tony H Hester. From dramatics, or dramatics, yeah, I think it is. Pretty cool, huh? So, and pretty cool one. And this last one is Jesse's yeah, critter called Yodels. So here's Jesse with some little animals. There's a deer. I think it's a tiger, a squirrel, a snake, a bear, a beaver, and an armadillo. And in hers, uh, oh. Atlantic. That's where the people go, and uh, the tramps. So yeah, I don't care about these records if they're not not part of the Woody's Roundup merch. But I I'm just glad I got these. So I got these like um, twenty five right off of Etsy. So frankly, it was the first time I ordered anything off of Etsy. So that's all of the things that we have for today's video and. I would wait till the last thing from e from eBay and one I ordered off of Etsy, but that ship all the way from from Europe. And the DVD, the last thing, I think it's a DVD, yeah, which will probably be arriving coming soon. You just have to 
put your uh, subscribe and hit that notification so you can check check it out real soon. So now if you'll excuse me, I gotta do some modifications, put some new DVDs and gotta do some new previews, menus, openings, everything. And I wanna test out Wallace and Gromit first to make sure if it is the movie. If not, I'm gonna have to tell you guys the next video the next time when I do this. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. So, and that that's all for now. So from all the X's and all the O's, I love you guys and we'll see you next time. Bye.